Hi and welcome back. This video is about working with different zoom and sizing techniques to optimize your work area. I'm going to start over here in my global tracks area. We have a thin bar that runs across the division between the top range list track and the bottom global track. So I move my arrow there, it changes into a sizing tool, and I can click drag and change the height of all these global tracks. They also have their own independent disclosure triangles that allows you to adjust the height as well. Let's go ahead and resize these down to their smallest size. And let's take a look at the tracks in the arrange list. Lower left corner of a track, you get the hand tool, you get the help tag, individual track zoom. And to the right of the word zoom, you'll see a number appear as I click. And as I drag downwards, that tells me my track height. If I don't like what I've done or just want to resize it back, shift click restores it to its original height. We can also do groups of like type channel strips together. Tracks one through eight here are all audio tracks. Now if I go ahead and hold down the command key first, I've got the ability to size all of those identically. And again, shift click, lower left corner, returns them to the original size. This will do it on the uh, software instrument tracks down here. Again, command click, and you can see these tracks are affected, the audio tracks were not. Let's go ahead and shift click and get back here to their original size. Now let's take a look at a couple other things. Let's go ahead and resize one of these tracks and we're gonna use that as a template for auto track zoom. And this is your button up here or the letter Z takes care of that. I'm gonna turn this on. Now whatever track I select will jump to that height and you can resize this at any time and that becomes your template. Click on this. And there you go. Now I find auto track zoom to be very handy in conjunction with automation. The letter A or your automation button up here enables your automation view. And if you have just one track sized tall with auto track zoom, then you just see automation on one track. And that's a nice easy way to work with automation. So I'm gonna hit the letter A to disable automation, hit the letter Z to disable auto track zoom, and now I'm going to hit the letter A to show you automation. And you can see it sized all my tracks, which may be the way you want to work or not. I just think that uh, auto track zoom, letter Z, A for automation, is a nice easy way without cluttering up your view to work with automation for one track at a time. Now, let me get rid of the automation again. And let's take a look at increasing the wave height. And this actually works in beat mapping as well up here. And we've got a little what Logic calls a waveform zoom tool. I'm going to give it a long click here, about a second. And there you go, we've got a slider that pops up. And you can adjust your waveform height, which can help you for editing. This will not affect playback, just visuals. And this is actually like a two settings switch. So I can set it at whatever height I want for easier editing. And if I click on it, it allows me to toggle from one position to another, from one height to another. Again, audio volume is not affected, it's just a visual. All right, so also we can look at fixed zoom for each edit window. And let's go ahead and I'm just gonna click on this and open up its view in the sample editor. And you can see I can zoom in here, grabbing the zoom tool control option, changes my zoom here and hasn't affected my region up here that I selected. Let me go ahead and trim down my global tracks there. And we can also do screen sets that have a different zoom feature. Here I have my, again, my sample editor down here, looking at this, and we'll go into a screen set seven, and you can see I have a big close-up of that same wave. So different screen sets can give us different zoom settings. Lastly, we can get quite a few zoom settings just out of one screen, and here's how we do that. Let me go ahead and adjust this a little more, and I'm gonna go and lock this right now, shift L, toggles lock on and off. You can go up to the main menu screen set and you find the command lock right here as well. Now, let's see, I zoom in, control option, grab my magnifying glass, I zoom. I've got this look, I've done my work, I wanna go back to my overview. I can hit number one and that gives me the screen set that I had locked. So it works very well. Now, with our key commands, we can actually save, assign and save three different key commands for zooming in. Let me go Option K for the key command window. And I've already typed in zoom in my search field up here. And I've already, it's brought up a number of zoom things. What we're looking at is recall and save. And I've already assigned my recall functions 
as f1, f2, f3, and my save as functions, f1, f2, f3, but with the shift modifier. So let me go ahead and close this out and show you what happens. I'm going to hold down, let me make a selection here first of all. And let's say I want to work on a couple of different regions here like that. I'm going to save that as a zoom setting. I'm going to hold down shift F1. Now, next thing I want to do is kind of get pretty close into those waveforms so I can go from hit to hit here. And I'm going to save that as shift F1. F2. That's going to be my F2 setting. And lastly, once I'm navigating through these each individual wave, if you will, I'm going to want to just kind of be doing some tweaking there. So now I'm going to go Shift F3. So I have screen set one locked. I hit number one. I go out. And now I'm going to start zooming in on my F keys. F1, F2, F3. And there's a way they zoom and keep the focus depending on whether you have a region selected or not. Right now I'm going to select a region. Let me move my playhead out of the way and I'll explain why in a moment. I'm going to select this region and I'm going to go ahead and hit F1. I'm zooming in. F2. I'm still zooming in. Notice the left or leading edge of the region has been kept in focus and we've lost our playhead. Now let's go to F3 and you can see we zoomed in even a little tighter, always keeping the left leading edge of the region in focus. I'm going to hit number one, and we're we'll zoomed back out on our overview. If I don't have any regions selected, the playhead becomes the focus. Here's F1, F2, F3. Zoom back out by hitting number one. Our screen set is locked. It comes back out. Lastly, if we have the playhead over a region, the playhead wins. It won't zoom, keeping its focus on the left or leading edge of the region, but rather the playhead location. Here's F1, F2, F3. And let's go back out to our lock screen set overview. And that basically is a bunch of ways to zoom in and out on Logic's Arrange window and a few of its other editors. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Stick around for the next one, and we'll catch you there. Thanks a lot.